How's it going everybody? Rhett in the eye here. Back to you with another video. Today's video is going to talk about something that you can do for your PC to help it out in the summertime. And mainly all time around just to run, make your PC run cooler. And basically the reason why I'm saying this as something that people can do is because now a company that I will show you in a minute has started to come out. I mean, I'll even mention some other companies that are also doing sort of the same thing have started to come out with products that allow people to keep their graphics cards cooler without actually having a full custom water loop. And if you guys haven't already guessed or have read the title um, by now that I'm going to be talking about EVGA's hybrid series um, liquid coolers that are AIO all-in-one liquid coolers for their graphics cards or graphics cards with the same type of PCB. Um, I'll mention also that Corsair also has uh, GPU mounting brackets. They have the N780 right now. I heard they will also be releasing a uh, video just went up today at Computex saying that they're going to be releasing a N970, uh, 980, and possibly a Titan X um, GPU mounting bracket. Now, today, we have a great thing for you today. We have the EVGA GeForce GTX Hybrid Cooler. I have two of them. As you all know, I have two GTX Titan Xs in my computer. And I'm running a H100i GTX liquid CPU cooler by Corsair to cool my CPU. Now it's time for my GPUs to get the same type of treatment. These are all-in-one 120 millimeter liquid coolers that mount directly onto your graphics cards from EVGA that will allow liquid cooling to touch your GPU and the fan will also still cool the VRMs and the power delivery. All right, let's get into the unboxing here. Uh, before I mention that, I just want to mention some tools here that I have on my desk. This is a um, number one size Phillips screwdriver. You also need a, this will also work since it has a fine point as a number zero. We also are going to need a tool. This is a, happens to be a tool that I use for my BMX bike. This is a park tool. You can buy this at um, Dan's Comp. Uh, online.com go to their park tools and you can find this you're going to need these at the smaller end here you're going to need a one and a half millimeter allen key and a two millimeter allen key two millimeters and i have a ruler here uh just so i can I give you guys some measurements of the hosing and some of the other components inside of this uh bundle here all right let me set these aside okay Let's get into the unboxing. So this is the box, EVGA GeForce GTX Titan X Hybrid. Has EVGA or NVIDIA's logo there. Nothing on the top or the back. Side has nothing on it. Bottom just has my serial number. Well, that was that. That's about all we have. All right, let's open it up. Sorry, the box is really thick in me. Right. Okay, and the first things we see inside here are the new EVGA shroud. Let me take this out of the box the packaging for you. This is the new shroud you'll be putting on your graphics card um, that houses the liquid CPU cooler. Here we are right here. There it is. Uh, G GeForce GTX Titan X. It doesn't have any LED on the top, which kind of is kind of upsetting, but it does say GeForce GTX Titan X Hybrid, which is still pretty cool. Um, yeah, basically just the new plastic shroud. It goes over it, has the whole cutouts for your hoses and stuff like that. Okay. Set that up here in the top. And now let's get into the next part. This is what I was mainly interested in when I first saw this. 
I wanted to know how the um, liquid cooler was going to be mounted onto the GPU. And I really wanted to know exactly how the instruction manual was going to do, if it was going to do us any justice or if it was just going to be super difficult. So let's take a look here. So the manual. All right, number one. Where's number one? Number one, here it is. Okay, so basically, as usual, uh, since these are all the reference ones, the reference coolers, not the ones that are EVGA based, uh, they, because all Titan Nexus, they can't change the PCB. I mean, even though they add these liquid coolers on the card and they have an ACX cooler, no one has still actually changed the PCB of the Titan X. So, shows you all the screws you have to release, stuff like that. It also tells you in the instructions what type of, uh, of bit you'll need, like I said. Um, running down here, let me just scan these for you guys, so you guys can take a look, down to here, and you just remove it, da, da, da. clean your GPU, get the water block prepared, put your shroud, Take make sure it comes all the way off, and Yep. And then right here tells you to then put all that back on and go back to step two to put the screws back into place. But yeah, instructions, super important. These haven't been posted, and the ones that are posted are the ones from uh, the 90s. This is your box with packaging. Here we have the liquid CPU cooler. Here she is. This box aside get this puppy out all right here we go so here is the water block pretty nice EVGA logo on it has its cold plate pre-applied thermal paste I'll be removing that thermal paste and putting on some Arctic 5 um, the hoses are really nice they'll match my uh, H100i GTX they have a nice sleeving on them super cool comes with the uh, a pass through for your fan pass through which also powers the pump so this is the pump and the t the reference fan blower on your your graphics card so you won't be removing the blower fan it'll just be running a lot less cuz it usually ramps up because of the temperatures of the GPU so it's only going to be cooling your VRMs and your memory chips and stuff like that so that's a pass through for that and then you have a it's a three pin slot, but there's only two pins, uh, fan cable, fan header in there, and then the um, fan on the uh, cooler comes with a three pin header, and it comes with one 120 millimeter fan. Uh, it's actually a really nice fan. It's like, it seals all the way around the radiator. I'll probably be replacing that fan with a Corsair red LED SP fan, uh, the Quiet Edition. Um, I don't know. I just love those fans. And those of you who've seen my video, I have those fans all over my case. So I'll be replacing with that. And if I have enough room, I'll do a push pull configuration. But if I don't, I will just do a. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, just probably a push. Probably just be pushing air in. Most likely. So yeah, guys. That's the radiator. Really nice. It's uh, 30 millimeters thick. Let me just get some measurements for you guys. Here we go. Got some nice measurements. There you are. So you're going to need... Uh, a uh, little over two inches of clearance in your whole case to mount the whole radiator and the fan, or at least one fan. About two and just a little shimmy, not too bad. Um, let me see if I can get a nice 
uh, measurement of the hoses here. Set this down. All right. So I uh, will lay out the uh, tape measure here for you. Let's see if we can't get this. Turn it over. All right. Okay. There we go. I mean, uh, someone on, um, on I talked to someone at EVGA and they sent me an email and they said that the, the hose cable, the hosing, was right around 15 inches. And from what I see here, it's about 15 inches and maybe a third. So 15 inches of hosing from where you mount it at. So it should give you guys some pretty good clearance. I'm gonna be mounting mine in my 780T case. And I'm hoping to put both of them, both radiators since I have two of them, uh, in the front of the case at the bottom uh, in a 120 millimeter uh, fan slot there and at the bottom of the case in the front as well in a 120 millimeter fan slot hopefully I'll have enough uh, uh, clearance so they don't touch each other we'll see I'm hoping we'll see but yeah guys that was been an unboxing and a quick overview of uh, the EBGA GeForce GTX Titan X Hybrid Cooler. Uh, the other things that come in here are just some straps. Tie your stuff down. Um, in here it comes with four mounting screws to mount your radiator to your case and some zip ties. And then here it comes with the stickers and some tape to tape down the pass-through cable for the fans as well as the eight uh, fan, I mean the eight uh, screws that you'll be putting in the new shroud. I thought this would come with the back plate. I did have the ACX 2.0 cooler. Uh, I never opened the box, but I know it came with the back plate. Um, I'm kind of glad it didn't, because I would have probably jacked the price up another twenty dollars. It was a hundred and nine dollars, and I already own two back plates anyway. You can buy those separately for the Titan X. Uh, yeah, so that's good. I mean, it's always good to have more things with it, but I'm glad that I already have back plates, and I think back plates look sick, and this is all black, so. Oh, a little bit of damage seems to be done to my fan there. It's kind of weird because they they say they, they in, the, in the manual it says that they test these, so must be where that came from. It's a really nice fan, if I don't say so myself. Kind of like the fan. But yeah, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really trying to get my YouTube uh, channel started. Uh, as soon as I start getting more followers and subscribers and stuff like that, I'll be pumping more money into getting better cameras, lighting, and microphones and stuff like that. Uh, as of right now, I'm just using an iPhone camera. But um, should be having maybe a new channel. I'll combine a channel with my brother. Uh, and his PC is even more insane than mine. So make sure you follow me when I post links in the description and stuff like that on Twitter. Uh, at right in the eye on Twitter. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at Ren and Yai or Brandon Morrison. Yeah, guys, this has been a kind of a long video, but I thought I would give you guys some good stuff about this uh, cooler because I've been super excited and I've wanted the liquid cooled GPU for a long time without actually having to go with the full water loop. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Can't stress this enough. We'll catch you guys in the next one.